Hi, this is Tony Lin and welcome to my video. Do you know how effective is this cool way prevents you from going to heaven? According to Mr. Joe Biden, he said if you drink this cool way, you will never go to heaven because of the COVID. Sound to me this is like a 100%. However, after a while, we found the people still went to heaven after they drank this Kuwait. Uh, I mean, very small amount of people. Suddenly, uh, some experts, uh, they said, uh, no Kuwait is 100%. This sounds like to me, it's a uh, this QA is very, very effective in preventing people from going to heaven. Uh, if it's not 100%, it is probably around 90% or even 95%. Today, I'm going to share the data directly from the CDC. And maybe from this data, uh, we can get an idea about the effectiveness of this QA. So this link is from the CDC official website. I'll include the link for you in case you want to verify this data yourself. And uh, if you click the link, you can see this is the access of the people who went to heaven uh, with COVID-19. And uh, if you scroll down, and here uh, I need you to select this option. Here it says uh, access people who went to heaven with and without COVID-19. So after you select this, uh, click update the dashboard and you will see this graph. So what is this graph? Uh, let me walk you through this. So this says a uh, weekly number of the people who went to heaven. And you can see this is uh, from uh, January 1st, uh, 2018 to, to uh, March 5th, uh, 2022. Look at this graph. Uh, what do these colors represent? And you can see the blue one is the predicted number of the people who went to heaven uh, from all causes, uh, including the COVID-19. And the blue, that, that is blue. And the green one is the predicted number of the people who went to heaven from all causes, excluding the COVID-19. So if you use the height of the blue bar minus the green bar, uh, you will get the predicted number of the people who went to heaven because of the COVID-19. So that is the, what we want to find out. And uh, as you can see from this graph, uh, you can see these uh, blue, the area of the blue represent the estimation of the people who went to heaven because of the COVID. Now we want to look at the difference between the year of the 2020 to 2021 because uh, we know that the pandemic started uh, around March of the 2020 and then we started rolling out this Kuwait at the end of the year 2020 or in the beginning of the year 2021 in the United States. So if we compare the total number of people who went to heaven because of the COVID in the year of the 2020 and the year of the 2021, uh, theoretically, uh, we should be able to see a significant difference uh, because according to the Mr. Joe Biden and the many health experts, this QA is highly effective if it was not 100%. Let me zoom in so you can uh, see a little bit better. As you can see, the pandemic uh, started around uh, this time, um, March of the 2020, uh, around this time here. And then uh, we started to see uh, the blue bar to pop out uh, because a lot of uh, people, uh, they went to heaven because of the COVID. So keep in mind, this is just the estimation, not uh, the real number. However, we can still get an idea uh, from this estimation to get the uh, total 
to get an idea about the effectiveness of this uh, Kuwait in preventing you from going to heaven. So, and then uh, around the January 1st of the 2021, uh, that is the time we start rolling out this Kuwait. So we can just compare the blue areas in the year of the 2020 and the, in the year of the 2021. If this Kuwait is very effective, we should see a significant size reduced in the year of the 2021. If you look at the area of this blue bar and uh, you compare it with uh, these two, you can see uh, virtually a uh, no difference. Maybe there is a difference uh, if you really are. Uh, if uh, CDC can provide the exact number and we can add up the total number of the people who went to heaven. But um, if you just uh, look, look at this graph by eye, you couldn't see much difference. That is the question I want to ask the CDC. If this Kuwait is so effective, if, if it's not 100% in preventing the people from going to heaven, how come we didn't see any significant change in the total number of the people who went to heaven in the year of the 2020 and the year of the 2021? So this is my question to CDC. Or uh, you can also ask this question to your friend uh, who believe in CDC and also believe in this Kuwait is highly effective. We also want to believe uh, this Kuwait is highly effective. Uh, however, according to these uh, CDC's data, uh, we compare the year we haven't rolled out this Kuwait and the year we started rolling out this Kuwait. And we didn't see any significant change at all. We are just asking the normal question. Uh, if this Kuwait is so effective in preventing people from going to heaven, then uh, how do you explain this uh, uh, data from the CDC? That is the honest question. We're not saying that, uh, oh, this uh, Kuwait uh, is not effective or not. No, we're not saying that. We, uh, we're just come up with a reasonable question like normal people. I believe if CDC can answer questions uh, like this, uh, we can understand the current uh, pandemic better and we can come up with a better solution. If you agree with me, please hit the like button and share this video with more people. Thank you for watching, have an amazing day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!